Greetings. Right, this is a TI targeted individual breakdown um, update. Uh, I'm going to review, revisit um, my testimony of being a targeted individual. Uh, so I'm going to give um, a brief outline of what what that entails and give some people term some things to consider. Uh, I'm not an expert and to be honest I don't think anybody is in this um, this practice and uh, so I want to give my thoughts and my experience my pennies worth in hoping that will uh, help somebody for the first time who perhaps is experiencing uh, persecution um, I personally believe the label is gatekeeped. It's uh, there's people who uh, phase long-term plans of this Cointel Pro um, targeting program, and I think there's many variations of targeting uh, to consider. It's not just one conspiracy of one group. It's uh, there's many components to. Uh, and many groups that practice this um, this technique, whatever you want to call it, has been labelled targeted targeting or gaslighting or gang stalking or persecuting. Um, whatever you call it, it's a violation of uh, human rights. But I have some thoughts that you may not have considered. Um, I'm a born again Christian, and I have a personal testimony of the faithfulness and trueness and rightness and goodness, the mercy and reality of Jesus Christ that he lives and he's the resurrection, he's the only way, the truth and the life. And in my in my experience I can't give anything but that testimony because that's the only thing I know will deliver people ultimately from sin and death and hell. And like the Lord said, you must be born again, you must believe and receive his uh, His power because uh, Jesus was God and he suffered the sins of all men and gave his life up and took it up again and rose again the third day that um, we could be delivered from sin and death and hell. We're all sinners and we all, there's no, none righteous but uh, the Holy God and the man who came from heaven who was God who was sent from the Father, God the Father, Eternal Father, sent from heaven. And Jesus was the Word of God, the second member of the triune uh, Godhead, the nature of God, the uh, three persons in one God, in one being. And it, uh, Jesus was the, the expression of, his, of God in the man, in the flesh. And he died for the sins of the world because he created the world. Um, people don't consider that and if you're not told that you are really ro robbed of the truth, you're robbed of the real, um, what the real battle is in life, it's, it's, it's about your soul, it's about your freedom, it's about your right, it's about the law, it's about truth, justice, equality. Now there's many good people in the world that hold to those things but you can't um, dismiss that Christians hold to exactly the same things and they wouldn't uh, disagree with anyone that holds to the truth and what's right but if you're a born again Christian you'll find it, it, it you're persecuted because uh, Jesus is hated without a cause even though no one can find any fault in him no one can prove him wrong no one can uh, overturn the Holy Bible in a court of law it's just not believed and, and that's the tragedy um, so targeting an individual, I, I think it's a label and that label is, the people who do the targeting are well well versed in criminal activity and if it's um, generationally organised and practised and it's a well oiled machine and there's a well oiled, well -oiled organisation, when you consider, when you study it out and consider all the components and its potential on a good day or or its utilisation in, in pockets, it, you can begin to see that it, it, its limits, its crudeness, but also its effectiveness for uh, 
persecuting people and getting away with it. It's like the Ku Klux Klan, they were all uh, townsfolk and judges and uh, well the original Ku Klux Klan weren't a racist uh, group, it, it was hijacked by sort of like local Freemasons who hated black people, were uh, white elitists, uh, Darwinists, that sort of uh, mentality and persecuted black people and the, and the minorities and the way they or anyone they didn't like anyone that went against the status quo of a dominant uh, posse of criminals because that's what these uh, uh, perps are they are criminals they're organized criminals they're not uh, and they're uh, expendable they uh, they come in waves they are utilized they are a um, commodity just like targeted individuals are a commodity, we're all commodity, we're all merchandise. And uh, one of the things you can c need to consider targeting is you may just be indiscriminately targeted and there may not be any reason or there might be a specific reason that you're chosen. There might be two reasons, there might be more than one reason, there could be multiple reasons. It could be because you speak out, you're honest, you, you're profiled. So that you, it might be perceived that you're going to be a threat, so you're targeted. And you might, you might ask, well, what a threat to what? I'm not a threat to anyone. Well, you're a threat. If you're a good, honest person, you're a threat to evil. And we live in an evil, fallen world, and, and, and the world's dominated by evil. And people lose sight of, um, like, mankind's going to solve all the world's problems, but it hasn't got it right yet. And there's only one truth, there's only one way to life, and there's only one life. And Jesus is that way, or he isn't that way. There's another truth. If you've got the answer, or you know where the answer is, um, I'm not asking you to follow me. I'm not doing this for my own uh, vain ambition. I'm not doing this to seek an audience or get loads of hits on YouTube or or to rally a campaign to uh, get justice done. I, I believe in justice, but I, I also believe in reality, and the reality of the power of Satan and evil and unlawfulness and, and the state of our country. And uh, I think you really have to step back and evaluate well, what's really going on. And what's really going on in, is a historical, a generational problem of uh, an ancient, a uh, problem that goes all the way back to heaven and that's the fall of, that, that's the rebellion of uh, Satan in, or Lucifer, the devil, who was banished from heaven, who rebelled against God, who raised up his heart in pride and he was banished from heaven and banished from the earth. I want to read a scripture, this is God's word and this is written in the Old Testament, uh, God create. God created everything. Everything on this earth is created by God. And uh, the angels created their, um, an angelic host. They're not part of this earth. But, they, but, but there's free, God always gives um, his creations free agency. And mankind has been given a privation. And, but God won't interfere with man's choice. So that's why God died. That we he could draw all men unto himself. But without robbing our choice. So... He, you either choose to believe and receive eternal life or you, you, you're allowed to choose not to have eternal life. The Lord won't hold a gun to your head. He's created and brought people into ex existence and, and, and he has to make a way for that existence to be saved and to experience life for itself. So it's halfway in betwixt between, it has a, has a choice. It can't turn around and say, well, I didn't want to be created. Because that's the most selfish thing, because you wouldn't have known any different. So now you are created. The Lord said, would you, would you like to live forever and, and, and experience joy and love and equality and righteousness? No evil, no hatred, no unfairness. Um, the, the Lord rules. The Lord's sovereign. And so the Lord makes sure everything's fair. So the Lord wanted to give all his creations that free gift. But to do it, he, he had to have a, a probation where men, men could choose freely, either sin, which is unbelief, anything that in life is, is not single to Christ, to uh, believing in Jesus, to righteousness, to good living, to true living, love thy neighbour as thyself. 
uh, love thy enemy, you know, be forgiving, be merciful. Because we don't live in a perfect world, we live in a fallen world. There'll always be, there'll always be evil people, there'll always be sin, there'll always be targeting, there'll always be corruption, there'll always be lies, there'll always be injustice. And it will go on and on and on. Mankind is not going to change. Because mankind doesn't want to change, because mankind's a liar, and, and every man, man goes his own way because he thinks he's right. Um, I don't claim to be right, I'm not an expert, I, I don't know anything really about targeting in, individuals, I, I've not met any. I, I live on my own, I'm isolated, I'm traumatised, I've been targeted at birth. Um, my experience is I'm targeted because somebody knows something more about my family than I do. And what I've discovered is it's to do with the Hebrew seed. And people experimenting on, on um, humans as though they own them, like cattle. This is, this is not new. There's nothing new under the sun. It's, all, it's written in the Old Testament. Uh, King Solomon wrote, wrote a, that everything in life is vanity. And without, without God, because uh, the only good thing in this world is Jesus Christ. And he's in heaven, and, and all things that are created but that are good are, are him. And he's given you a life, and if you uh, reject him and, and live your own life, you'll lose, your, you'll lose that life. But if you give your life up, or, or what you would have done with your life, without Christ, and you turn and believe in him, he'll give you eternal life. And you won't lose your life, you, you would find and receive his life. And it's a free gift, and you won't know that that's true until you believe. If you don't believe, you're not going to you're not going to receive what what he will freely give you. He's faithful. He's true, and he gives you hope out of despair. And and ask yourself this: How many targeted individual sites, and how many of them are not part of it? How can you guarantee um, if I'm being dishonest or not? And how can you guarantee if anyone is either deluded, either um, jumping in for the attention, or they're planted to be to be to give misinformation agents, or to capture and ferment the targeted individual community, and it becomes a monopoly. It becomes something you can stir up and use it to keep people away from what is actually going on. And then you get all these ideas, and then you get it was, it was like the MK Ultra um, outbreak of uh, whistleblowing. There was a big outspilling of it, and it and it jumped all into a net, one big net, all waiting for it. And people thought they are oh, get they getting justice, justice for you know on a charge, or, or just getting their stories heard. So a good intention starts off and it ends up being corrupted, it ends up being infiltrated, and it ends up going sour and stagnant, and nobody considers all the fallout. I'm considering the truth, and I'm, I'm just offering the truth, that the only real way out is salvation, because you might be dead tomorrow. I don't want to be a doom, doom merchant, but if you're being persecuted and you're looking for answers, you're looking for, you need salvation. And, and if you know Jesus Christ, you know God, well, he's going to help you. He will deliver you. He will deliver you through it, away from it, out of it. And you won't be a targeted individual anymore. You'll, you'll, you'll just be a safe sinner that's being persecuted. And, you, and, and that persecution will, will, um, will continue to be in your face every day. Um, when you're a believer, you, you're against the whole world. The, the whole world hated Christ. But Christ was righteous. He was good. He wasn't a liberal, um, wishy-washy person. He was honest, and and what what he said, he he had authority. He he meant business. And he was so holy in his presence. You would have you would have known who you're in the presence of. If you would have walked the earth when uh, Jesus Christ did. And every book in the Old Testament is about him, it prophesies of him, and he ticked every prophecy, he fulfilled every prophecy up until the cross. And because of his finished work on the cross, that will guarantee all the rest coming true. You can't have 50% true and then the other 50% true. 
and you may dismiss the matter before you heard it, but unless you, you know the truth, you're not going to see the truth in anything. And Jesus Christ is the foundation, he is the truth, he's the author. And if you dismiss that, uh, the least thing in your life, the most important thing, is it, you may consider the most smallest matter, that you're a sinner, and you, may, you, you might not think you, you're a bad person. But if you deny God, you're the you're the worst person that um, that you could conceive because you, you've you've attract, you've rejected the 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 most holy, precious uh, Lord and God and being eternal being that's un undescribable, and and you've rejected your free gift of life. You've not only rejected your your own sinful life whether that's miserable or contented or exceptionally black, you know, ex exceptionally rich um, if you reject him you've re not only rejected your probation you've re rejected eternal life from the creator and, and you would have made your choice it would have been your choice uh, so I'm going to read two scriptures um, to consider uh, God, that God is uh, creates all things. He creates all. He does. He's not evil, but he creates a world where man's got agency, and there's evil in the world. There's evil forces in the world. But um, if man is lives right, he will bypass those evil forces. He won't entertain them. But if if he entertains those evil forces by unbelief, by not living what's right, by doing what he thinks right. And going going its own way, it, it will bring those evil forces into effect, and that's why God's allowed them because it judges that which is wrong. Uh, behold, I have created the smith that that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. This is a promise to uh, people who know Jesus Christ and no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn this is a heritage of of the servants of the Lord and their righteousness is of me saith the Lord so there's a promise there that uh, no weapon that is formed against the believer shall prosper and because Jesus Christ is righteous uh, a sinner has put off their sinfulness and accepted that Jesus is, is God and righteous and, and, and that justifies the believer through faith, through trusting in his righteousness. So that person can now receive, has received righteousness, just not, not because they believed in a word, but because they've believed in Christ and they've been um, born again, they've been born by the power of the, uh, God's grace and God's spirit and they've received the Holy Spirit, they receive fellowship with the Almighty God indwelling in their life. And they've received his righteousness and that will guide a believer in their life to make righteous judgments, to see uh, black and white, to see right and wrong, to see law what's lawful and what's unlawful. Uh, so I wanted to read that scripture that, um, and follow it with Psalm, uh, Psalm 7. The people think that God's loving, and he's, he, but God, God's love is uh, like a father. He, he won't let you jump around and throw things and tread all dirt in the house and swear. And there's rules, there's discipline. God is holy, and and he he won't tolerate anything but holiness. And we're not holy; we're sinners. So there's no chance of us ever getting into heaven in God's presence. So that's why he sent his sons to draw all men unto himself, that they may receive his life and his holiness as a free gift and that's what uh, Jesus Christ came to to offer and give he gave it he gave his life he spilled his holy precious blood um, the Lord shall judge the people judge me O Lord according to my righteousness and according to my integrity that is in me O oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, but establish the just, for the, the righteous God trieth the reins of the, heart, uh, the hearts and reins. My defence is of God, which saveth the upright in heart. God judgeth the righteous, and God is angry, angry with the wicked every day. 
So God judge if the, uh, the right or good people. He, uh, good people are, are are affected when they make a mistake. Uh, God chastises um, people he loves, but the wicked God is angry with. The wicked simply means unbelieving, and if you consider the mentality of the world powers and the the conspiracy is an ebb and flow of ambiguous motive which is generally uh, Christ called it mammon now mammon is the uh, root of all evil which is well mammon is the, f the forces the spiritual body of the world that is solely out for itself out for gain um, now in the old Old New Testament, the, uh, it, the language was of demons and spirits, and he, he, which which is what they are. But what the devil is 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 a powerful force, an angel, and he has power on the earth. He is uh, the ruler of this earth, and he's ruler over men's hearts. And men, by their free agency, by their choices, by their not living right, by their rejection of jesus christ the way and the truth and that founding um foundation and that truth in their life that knowledge of god in their life and that spirit of god in their existence that um i'm being born in sin and darkness you don't know any different so you're not living for You've not received that love, you've not received that grace, so you're living for sin, you're living in unbelief, you're lost. So anything you do is founded on that footstep, so every step is wrong. And you may you may be a good person, you might have good attributes, but your foundation is in error. So you're going further and further away from the truth. Now the people of this world um, who get into power... Or, or the evil p forces behind the law of people that get into power because you've got to remember that uh, human beings in in parliament are human and they swing left and right and they change their mind and there's influences it's like it's the knockout and these people are, uh, are being thrown wet sponges at them if the, as they try and walk a tightrope walk uh, so the, the unlawfulness in if you're a Christian, you, you'll see the unlawfulness, you'll see black and white in the world, and you'll see mo most people in the world are unlawful, they're liars. Because uh, if, you, if you're a true lawful citizen, you, you believe in the Queen, and you will, whether you believe the Queen's uh, true, you will hold to the, her, her office, and that is a protector of the faith and the law, and the sovereign ruler of this nation, and the, and the government, and the law. Now that law is to preserve our rights, to preserve our freedom, to go after criminals. So that tells you who who's lawful in our government. But I'm not against the gov our law and our, and the government. I'm against unlawfulness of people in the government, and I'm certainly not against um, the uh, the sovereign, the 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 law of this country, the sovereign head of this country. And any anything against that is an enemy to righteousness, is an enemy to God. Whether they, whether the Queen agrees with that, um, nobody can speak for the Queen, but the Queen and by her fruit. Um, I'm gonna read a scripture, which is Matthew seven. Just just for anyone to consider. <clears throat> maybe looking for hope. Maybe looking for light, edification. Uh, just a bit of uh, familiarity with so, um, uh, somebody who's uh, know what it's like to be persecuted and targeted. I'm being I'm targ I've been targeted all day today. Um, right, uh, where shall I read? Right, I'll start in. Start in verse thirteen. Enter ye in the straight gate. Uh, for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction and many that be which be that go in thereat so there's many that will perish and go to hell enter in at the straight gate wide is the gate and broad is the way 
to enter the straight gate for wider to gate and broader to way that leadeth to destruction. So you don't want to go in that way, you want to enter into the straight gate, but not the broad gate, not the way that every, the whole world goes. You need to go and enter the straight gate. Because straight is a gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto, unto life, and few there be that find it. Beware of false prophets, people who profess to be true and honest and right. You know, because the world's full of people who are out for their own ends, and, and they, it's not always apparent on the face of it. They may be very charismatic people, they may have some genuine motive, but if people don't know what life's about and what the truth is, they're lost. And they will lead people in in a loss. And if you, um, uh, if I review the last five years of targeting, I, I can honestly say there's been no change. There's been no justice, and there won't be. So I'm, I'm offering people just the the meek, salty truth of what life's about, um, and and to consider what the word of God says, if you've not considered that before. Uh, Right, because straight is a gate and narrow is a way which leadeth unto life, and few, few there be that find it. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. For ye shall know them by their fruits. Now, fruits is their, their, their uh, behaviour, their works, their um, the environment, or what what comes of a group of people or what comes of an individual whether they're uh, nasty whether they're bitter whether they're fawny whether they're proud whether they're obnoxious whether they're um, railing um, there's so many um, motives and fruits of the person so yeah, it, it's it's the lord is saying um be uh, Ye shall know them by their fruits. So these false prophets, you'll know by these liars, these um, false targeted individual groups, or anyone posing as a, a genuine uh, McCoy, beware of those which come to you in sheep's clothing. But this is it, uh, in reference, in context to uh, people with the gospel, people with the message of salvation. Beware of you know, robbers. Uh, fake salesmen that sort of thing but it's the same applies to um, just causes and a big, because the people who do uh, to, who cause these are often the people who are, are the remedy providers and then and then that, uh, that minimizes the damage and that they can manage the whole uh, bring in the rest of the public's attention because it appeases the it, it calms it down and drags it out so there's not like one big court case it, it it takes the power out of the individual's hand each individual and it puts it all in one group and leads it into one mass so if that one person is wrong that makes the whole group wrong you see so it only takes one charismatic leader to, to rally around a whole group and lead those people off now that person may be doing that unwittingly, or that person could be could be profiled, and and then the people get behind him, or there'll be people that uh, will cultivate it, make it hard for that person, so it makes them more determined, and then they slowly let the gates open when they're worn out. But these people are calculated, and so if you think you're going to beat them by intellect or following a man, another another leader thinking that they're going to have the answer to all your problems and there's going to be justice and you're pinning your hopes on that person, well, I, I would strongly advise you to check yourself and take yourself aside and, and consider the word of God, consider the truth. You shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes or thorns or figs or thistles? Things start to get ugly. Now, I've reviewed uh, targeting and, and, and I, I, I've viewed, viewed groups when they first started on and then I revisited them, them about two two years later. Then they start, there started to be cracks, things get sour. Then I started to notice that the, the testimony started to be becoming... You know, a bit, um, a bit bias, and and you think, well, um, there's it's becoming out of control, like I expected, and like I didn't wish it on. 
on anybody, but can you, you can see it coming because it's uh, there's nothing new. It swings and roundabouts. Beware of false prophets. You, uh, you shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes or thorns or figs or thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a, corru a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. So a good person will tell you the truth, and a, a liar will lie and bring you to a, a bad consequence. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. So a good, a good motive person can't, the results won't be evil, they'll be good. Uh, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth evil fruit. So a dishonest or a well-intended person who's um, misplaced their, their motive um, is corrupt. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. So it will lead to problems. It will lead, will lead to evil fruit, to bad fruit, to wrong fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is honed down and cast into the fire because it's no good if you've got things lying around the house that are no use you, you throw them out so if you're following a group or hoping that somebody's going to lead you into victory and they're the ones to do it well I, I would question them their own motives and uh, and do the right thing not only for yourself but everyone else concerned and, and people may follow your example um, it's, it's best not to put your trust in in, in mankind you need Jesus Christ to deliver you, and I'm giving you that honest truth that that's the only way. And whereby, wherefore, by their fruits you shall know them. Not everyone that shall say to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? And then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. And rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house. And it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. It was founded upon the truth. And every one that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and, the, and beat upon that house. And it fell, and great was the fall of it. So you could follow some group for years and years, give up your life to it, and at the end you got disappointment and heartbreak. And that's a big disappointment, that's a big fall of it. And great was the fall of it. And it came to pass, when Jesus had ended these sayings, the people were astonished at his doctrine. For he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. Because Christ was the truth and he doesn't lie and he cannot deny his his existence, his presence. We can, uh, the world can. The world can choose not to believe, that, but that doesn't make uh, Jesus Christ go away. <sighs> and you tell me, when in history has mankind got it right? <sighs> <coughs> <coughs> I'm going to put this targeted individual problem right because it's been going on for years. Um, so I'm going to give, uh, just end up with a few thoughts to consider. Um, now I'm just going to share some components with uh, people who practice this that I've encountered and it just join the dots up through research and knowledge. Um, if you've heard, if you've not heard of Ignatius Loyola. He's the uh, founder of the Society of Jesus. Was it? It's a group of monks, a priesthood body in the in the Roman Catholic order, and they're like assassins, a secret secret branch. And they they are proponents of uh, Freemasonry. That the kind of the same sort of order, and it's all related to Babylon priestcraft and pagan worship and uh, power. Um, infiltration, misinformation, posing as something you're not to cause um, dialects. These are against the law, these are against our nation. They they are enemies, historically enemies to all, all righteous, lawful rule and independence and like our nation is founded on Christian principles, whether you believe that or not. 
it is founded on a, uh, the law is drawn up from a Chris, uh, Hebrew and Christian principles, and our law is it, it, it's nothing wrong with our law. It can be used lawfully, but today it's being used unlawfully by criminals and liars who um, who possibly are outpowered. The lawful powers are probably outpowered by these. Um, these groups, because these groups op operate behind in, in secret, so they are difficult to detect, and they're they're not very traceable, and that's what gives these masons, these men, power, because they, it, it 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 butters them up, it, it greases their egos, and they get drunk on it, they get brazen. And if there's a problem in the community and you want something to go away, well, who do you call? You call Ghostbusters. You call these rent a mob. So um, I found um, now the experts on this practice are Jesuits. They founded the uh, a, a P Jesuit members uh, founded the Illuminati, and the Illuminati is the same degree Gnostic. Uh, religious priesthood body of men, a secret order of men that practice priestcraft, which is elevation of hidden knowledge, of um, improving yourself, in, in making yourself better than somebody else, but it's done unlawfully and in secret. So this raises up a, a fatness in the body and it, it's unlawful because it goes, it swears oath against our law and our, 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 our sovereign and our nation, and so it compromises people in the community, and it, it, it's a long-growing, a long-winded, purpose, purposeful, established order to do that to undermine. The, the government to undermine the law, to infiltrate and dominate and take siege of power. That's what the Roman Catholic Church, that's what our nation's always been against, is popery. And these, these machinations through the Jesuits and through agents and the people they recruit, the people they influence in society, in education, in the media, in Hollywood, these people are long generationally practiced. So are the Masons. Now, people who practice uh, um, targeting are the cults, and they're all Masonic as well. They've got Masonic priesthood members. Now, Freemasons can be members of a religious order at the same time as being a member of the Masons, at the same time working for the government. So they could be a Mormon Mason MP, they could be a, a, a Catholic Mason policeman, they could be a satanic, um, luciferian cult, blood sacrificing high priest, a Mason and a school teacher or any, any profession. Um, so you need to look at all the components, and they're all covenant groups. They're people who are criminal, that could be a criminal body, a satanic body, a witch body, a group of close-knit family. Anyone that could be utilised to take part in this practice will be could be potentially approached and used. So you have to understand the motive, the forces behind it, the components, and then try and establish why, why you're personally being targeted and that is personal to every circumstance. No no one's got the answer. I, ha I certainly haven't got the answers. But I, I can share the components for people to go and study and research and I'll leave some links. So the Jesuits are one of probably the, and the motives and the, and the doctrine of the Roman Catholic order is the main proponent of the problem. That That's just one big component. There's many other components you need to consider. One is the devil. Now if you think of the Matrix film, that force and the absence of people living right gives gives um, the human race is like a collective body of nature and it can turn around and bite you in a group. It behaves in a, in a it, it, it's one lump, as one body of one person all made up of individuals, all, all like football hooligans, all chanting for the same team. 
it's that sort of group men mentality, that zeitgeist, that spirit of behaviour. And if it's founded on, um, if it's motiveless, if it's not a genuine motive or a misplaced motive, it's one body of error. And that can cause uh, serious problems. And that can also, be, people, psychologists are aware of human nature and profiles for, for years, and they know how to shape the mob and steer it. So targeting individual in groups is powerless, and it will come to nothing. So if you're part of that, I would suggest you you separate yourself from it and really evaluate it more carefully. Um, je, uh, so that needs to be researched, Jesuits. Now the Jesuits are the experts in uh, apolog apologia, uh, giving misinformation. Oh no, the, the, that's a false document. Oh no, the Jesuits don't do that. Just like the Masons, all these criminal liars will have two hands on their gloves. They're, they're, they're the ones that cry out the most. Uh, the truth is just the truth, it's yay. But when you get when when you touch the button with them and the truth, they'll be oh no, they're not. No, we wouldn't do that. When it's plain as day, they will say black is white and white is black. They're liars, because they're they're they're, they're legions like Mormons, like Scientologists, like Masons, like Catholics. Their allegiance is to their figurehead, not the law, not 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 the laws you and I live to, and that we have to live to. No, they live to a sovereign above our own. So they're enemies to our state, enemies to our law, enemies to our families. And they're the people that promote all this um, gender fluidity. And it, this, is, this is okay and that's okay. And they're the, they're the main voice for everybody. It's all one, one group of... Un, uh, one body of mammon, of lawlessness, against our rights and freedoms, against our law, to break our law to break our independence and to break the back of this nation. So you need to look at all the components of um, targeting. If you're, you're against that, if you're a threat to that, you're going to be targeted, you're a dissenter and you're on a list. You can be indiscriminately put on a list by um, just a personality that takes a dislike to you and has got the power to put you on a security list to lie and give false counsel and say, they may be regulated to only on condition put somebody on a list if they meet certain criteria. You put a person with a, a personality problem who's a liar and you can appear as an honest person and nice and upright and sincere and tick all the boxes and qualify for a job and then go, yeah, whatever, uh, don't like you, don't like you, you're going on the list. And that's been documented and that's how people are targeted, they're put on a security list. So consider this, if, if, if you're against our Queen and our nation, not, not the Queen personally, but what the Queen stands for, her office, her duty, her right, her, her, her lawful duty, now keep your opinion about her personally and whether she fulfills that duty, but what she holds. And what that is, what that role is for, that is to sustain her government, and her government is to sustain our rights and freedoms. However, that pans out, and we, it, it, we get what we vote for. So, if you're if you're not a believer in the Queen, you're not a believer in God. You're not a believer in the law. You're unlawful, and if you're unlawful, you're compromised in the law. We'll put you on a list because you're a criminal and you're a lawbreaker. Have you considered that? Well, they consider that because this is what cri criminals do. They know that if you're anti-law, you're anti-nation, you're compromisable. So you're powerless. They know you're powerless and you and you're, you may not be considerate at all. You may just think, oh, I, you know, this life's all about me. I've got rights. I, you know, how dare they treat me like this? Well, you... you you, it may be just for you to be treated like that because you're a criminal and you're breaking the law and you may you may be rebellious against the law. So you may have upset, you may have justly done something wrong and been put on the list, a threat. Oh, this person's a possible f uh, a threat to our government and stability. Let's put them on a security watch. You know, people who write fingers up at the government and are rebellious, so they're, they're untrustworthy. Would you have a... The, would you have people like that in your most vulnerable circumstance in your family, like the birth of your child? Would you have someone like that, or 
or a really sensitive moment in a family's life, would you have some uh, lawless behaviour like uh, like we can behave? Like you know, I grew up in a, a base. Um, you know, I'm not I'm not I'm not um, naive about how the world is and how you know how evil people can be, how bad people can be, how good people can be, how people can be up and down like yo yeah, yeah, how people can just swing from pole to pole. I've seen uh, the, the, all extremes of behaviour. Um, so people have to be honest with themselves and, and view what this um, targeting is about. And all I notice is a lot of the websites have that air of fakeness and a lot of it's controlled. It's trying to control the opposition. And that, that needs to be considering the component. Um, a lot of these groups are cooperative and they're all utilise different groups and in my own targeting I've, I've noticed waves of different bodies of people and and they're never the twain um, but you never really know because you're in the dark you never really no one's ever going to come around and tell you what it's all about that's a, a thing a real a real thing to consider um, so really that that's basically what I wanted to update on. So I wanted to mention a book I've just discovered. Now I've known I've known about the the Secret Order of the Jesuits, but there's a, a a book that is available, and there's a lot of controversy about this book. And the the people who who it's against claim, oh no, that's a false document. But what, everything needs to be considered and researched about the Jesuits, and, it, and there's a lot of misinformation released on the Jesuits by the Jesuits like there is about masons like any criminal who they're you're on they're onto them there would be all these books there would be a swamp of books countering what the truth is that that's another consideration this book's called Min, Minita Secreta Secreta uh, Minita Secreta it's in Latin but it's been translated into English it's the the secret practices of the Jesuit order and it's been deemed by the the Catholic Church, and well, you know, like they would deem it as is not theirs. But um, you, you, this is an old um, archive book written. I, I, I'm not sure of the exact date, but I would recommend people go and look up, do a fresh search on the Jesuits, and not. Uh, Look at all the sources available and cons and, and measure it, pick a few out and then um, like you have to weigh it up carefully because there's, there's a lot of people that pick up the Jesuits just to go after the Jesuits or uh, everyone's motive, uh, my own motive's got a skew whiffed in it, it becomes oh, you know I despise these people and it, and it becomes, um, you, lo you can lose sight of, of doing what's right. Um, but, but they need to be researched and then you need to look at their core doctrine, their own, um, their own records and then what the Roman Catholic Church holds to. And it's against, it, it's lawless, it's against our nation's uh, law and state and it will always be. And they utilise people in Scientology, the cult, I'm not, um, I'm not sure about Scientology, but definitely the Masons, the Illuminati. All these secret societies and all these accesses, the ATO is just a hub way into uh, recruiting people quickly, as, my, as I understand it. it. It's a way of join, joining up all these covenant secret lawless groups who swear an oath above the law above your rights and above your freedoms, they're criminals and they, they are compromised and unlawful and they comp anyone who gets involved with them or doesn't speak out against them lawfully is compromised and, and, and guilty and these people will take advantage of this because they know the law these people believe in, when you consider it, they don't, they don't believe in Jesus but they believe in de the, the, the devil and they know the devil and they worship the devil and commune with the devil. So to them, it, 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 a Christian lives by faith. They haven't seen Jesus. These people have seen 
things and they 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 are outside themselves they are beyond what you your experience and they do believe and they practice and they're zealous at what what they hold to to please their their god uh, they've got something to live for but they're living for the wrong things and they compromise society and people's ignorance and targeting all ties into this these corrupt uh, covenant groups these covenant bodies then these covenant bodies get into shadow powers into government into um, intelligence agencies and then once that it's in it's like a cancer and then then you got to fight it internally and there was a time where perhaps it was more secure but it's all any good any good um system and principle law is always corruptible and the trouble with secret societies and, and secret intelligence is is that it, it once the cat's out of the bag you can never put it in and that's the nature of the world you, you sometimes you have to fight the world has to fight the law has to fight uh steel with steel and it has to fight espionage with espionage sometimes but sometimes it gets abused it misappropriated and then it gets take then it gets uh that's where we are today it's been used and learnt about gone full circle and it seems to be the, it's just a, a runaway train. So um, I've been targeted by the, the, the Mormons. Now Mormons is Masonic. When I joined the Mormon church, it, you, you would be excommunicated for being a Mason. And then, then you discover, well, hang on a minute, a lot of the leaders are Masons. How come I was kept out in the dark? And then you know, other people would have got a different question. So it, that taught me that there's a, a covenant body within the Mason Church, uh, Mormon Church, that are, that are in that 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 connection of Masons. So Masons are connected to Mormons. So who else are they connected to? Orangemen. You know, do they have connections? Do they have members in each that that are spies? This is how these people work: spies and uh, covert and over techniques like in wartime you know you look at the war the spy mentality it's the same it all goes hand in hand with targeting and or um, mercenary groups or criminal groups anyone that's uh, compromised can be utilized anyone who's willing to be compromised can be groomed and asked to do us a favor do us a favor go around that person and put that through the letterbox I'll give you a, I'll give you that job you're after, or I won't do that to you, or or whatever. So there's diverse reasons why you could be targeted. Um, yeah, that book was called Monita Secreta. It was in it was Latin, and it's the secret instructions of the Society of Jesus. That's the Jesuits, and they are big proponents of the enemy to our nation and targeting is so diverse and it's also a sponsored movement now it, it and and that could be uh, fermented and cultivated by the main criminal components and proponents of of the people who pay for these people to be targeted um, so remember the scripture we started, God created the waste that is destroy and God is angry with the wicked every day. If you're um if you're not a believer, you're you're under condemnation. Um just finish off with John chapter three. Uh now it's black and white. If you if you reject Christ, you reject his free gift. And he'll have no choice but to leave you to perish in hell. So you're under condemnation. Because the truth come into the world, it's found everybody wanting and guilty and liars. And, and we can't deny the truth. You know. So if Jesus isn't the truth, then you need to find out, well, what is the truth then? Is there some other truth? Or is just Jesus a good person? Well, he can't, he can't be both. He either, he either was holy and God and done everything he said he'd done and was reported to do or he didn't and 
every, every born again who believer who says, I know Jesus and I'm born again and, and I know that Christ is faithful, I have a, a testimony, I have a good report that he's true. If you reject them, you, you reject as if you've seen him face to face because these people have believed in faith and they, they know him, they know God, they know his love, they've tasted his spirit and they've received his spirit. They've received that love and grace every every day of their lives forever. If they remain single to the Lord and don't fall don't stray out of that that peace and go and go off doing things wrong again, returning to mistakes and wrong living and the Lord will uh, withdraw himself from the, that person's life. Um, and people are lost, so they go their own way. They go, well, who, what do I do? Oh, I'll just see what everyone else is doing and I'll follow them. Well, Jesus Christ said, follow no man, trust not the flesh. He said, I'm from above, you, you lot are from below. And if you think of that film, The Matrix, how uh, that uh, agent goes after that character Neo, the one, you know, the false one. The he, they will utilize anyone in the Matrix, any any human being he can take overtake and take control of their lives and jump, and and utilize that person and then go and use them to a, go after a target. Now that's kind of like the devil. The devil is the biggest proponent of targeting people. Um, now, if you're a, a bad person, he's, he's not going to give you any trouble. But if you you start going against evil, now he's the main core of evil, so anyone who's loyal to that evil power, now that would be criminals, these cover members, anyone who stands against that is is the, en the enemy. They are enemies of the devil or enemies to the devil. They're a threat to the devil. So they're a threat to criminals. And then criminals will go after these people at any means necessary and you may never know what you've trod on or why you've been put on the list. And you, it may be indiscriminate, but I would, I would consider your heritage, your blood in heritage, Look at your family circumstances and history and, and research. But the main thing is you need you need God's help. You need somebody stronger than yourself to give you the victory over this power. Because this power is now utilised with technology. You can be put on a an automated targeting programme. It can save a lot of money. And you can be just put on a programme until you've, you've been given cancer. If you've destroyed yourself, I get... I'm on sonic, tar sonic torture and it's 24 hours a day and it's constant, it has been for the last four years. It's all, it's worth, it's, it would be deemed illegal in Guantanamo Bay, you know, it's worse. Um, it's, it's worse than water torture because I don't get any sleep. It's And I've just had to learn how to sleep through it. You can't block it out, it penetrates through walls. It's a radio signal, it's a microwave frequency, a very high one that you can't detect because it's, it's this, um, it's beyond like uh, 20, 20 gigahertz, you can't, you, there's just no equipment to measure it. So you, you, you're up against the most powerful forces in, in a spiritual sense, which is the devil, but you're also against that body of people, that host of individuals, random individuals, that conglomerate of evil in the world, mammon, people who live for themselves, they don't live for the law, they hate the law, they are above the law and they live for evil, they live for mammon, they live for money, gain, um, power, status, grandeur, this is what, this is, if you go up against that you're going to get targeted. But if you're a sinner, you're guilty before God, and God's angry with the wicked. He's angry with people who've rejected his truth, the light. And in, in the eyes of God, it's just for, you, for the wicked to be persecuted by other wicked people. So that you need to consider that. that that's, a, that's why you're being targeted. That's why there's no justice. Because all men are sinners, so all men are under condemnation. And... and, and, and uh, you know, criminals, so they get, we get what we deserve. 
but we don't see that in ourselves. When I was a sinner, I didn't see that I was a bad person. I had to be shown I was bad. I had to, I had to do those bad things to have a pang of conscience and realise, well, I'm not, not, not as good as I thought I was. I'm a liar. I'm, I'm, I'm wicked. I'm, a, I'm an abomination. I, you know, I'm sick. Jesus answered and said unto him, Very verily, this is a, um, a, a Jewish leader who's come to the Lord to ask for advice. Jesus answered and said unto the him, Verily, very, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, very, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of, of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee, you must be born again. All right. Very, very, I say unto thee, we speak what that we do know. It's talking about believers and, and on behalf of believers, on behalf of the church body, on behalf of himself. Very, very, I say unto thee, we speak that we do know. And testify that we have seen and ye receive not our witness. So a Christian will testify that they've received Christ but people won't believe in the, the witness. And they think other oh, people are nuts. If I have told you earthly things and you believe not, how shall you believe if I tell you of heavenly things? See, that you're not going to know the, the truth of the Bible and of God until you've received God. And then you're not... Otherwise, you're not going to see it or understand it. Cause it's a spiritual book. It's beyond, it's beyond, but beyond your comprehension as a, a man, as or as a woman, as a human being. As it doesn't matter how in, intellectual you are, you you just will not conceive what's beyond the door. And no man have ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man, which is in heaven. And Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Now Moses uh, was leading the, the, the people of Israel, nation of Israel, to go into the promised land. And God wanted the, the sea to be lawful and, and just and righteous, so they weren't, they weren't evil or self-righteous or proud. They were humbled and abased and they were being obedient to what's right they were living lawfully and good good conscientious lawful faithful obedient people but they were rebellious and the most weakest sinful people imaginable because they that, that it's just it was just in their makeup god chose them to be like that god knew that they were the weakest nation the, the most sinful they would have the most sinful problems but also have the most uh, potential to be blessed um, Mo, uh, because they were rebelling and they were murmuring the Lord said if you don't stop murmuring you, you, I'm going to send a plague a plague of snakes are going to come as a consequence and you're, if you don't you're going to get bit and they, they, they all got bitten and they all got uh, because they were out of the way they were rebelling against that was good and they suffered the consequences not living right lives lying not going against what the will of their like children go against the will of their mum and dad and rebel and, and then it sets on fire the family home and then and then justice has to come in step in and bring it back bring it back down um that's what moses had to do because they all got poisoned and, and god said right if you just just hold, make a, a serpent out of brass, stick it on a stick and hold it up. Who looks at it will, will, will be forgiven and live. But who doesn't will die. And God uh, gave uh, Moses power and the power to do that. And he, he faithfully held up the, ser the brass serpent. And anyone who looked on it and trusted in God's word believed and were healed from the poison and lived and they went on to go enter into the land of Canaan and, and get rid of all the lawless uh, sacrificing, sacrificing their kids 
uh, worshipping all these false gods and, and got completely wild, just like today is going wild, just like it's the same practice of that, like that era, idolatry, raising up uh, images above uh, one, one person above another one, elevating an idol. This is what all Freemasonry is about. And so that's what that is in reference to. Moses lifted up a serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. That whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not the Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believe on him is not condemned, but he that believe not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation, that light is come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. And every one that doeth evil hateth the light, and neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be manifest, that they are wrought in God. So there we have it. Simple black and white truth. Because holiness and God and the truth sent it into the world, convicted everyone as sinful. God saying, the sinful people won't come out. A burglar won't go out and look for a policeman. Because they won't, they're going to get arrested. God is saying, you won't come, people won't come to me because they're sinful. And, and, and they, they don't want to be found out that they're sinful. But what Christ is saying, I've already found you out that you're sinful. Because I'm God and I'm holy. If you don't believe in me, you'll you'll remain as you are and you'll you you'll perish and go to hell. But if you believe in me, I'll give you eternal life. And God is faithful to His word. Um, so, if you're looking for for hope in the world, the the only the only thing that's going to save you and deliver you from targeting is that personal relationship that is simply the gospel jesus the if you think of religion they're all robbers you, you mustn't trust men don't trust what i say you trust the word of god in the king james bible because it's preserved it's lawfully the original text from the original people who wrote the gospel and all those texts were preserved and kept and the king of england lawfully had them translated by groups of people who lawfully come come up with a faithful translation and, that, and uh, it remains true to this day as it was in the original uh, copies of it in, in whatever language they ended up in uh, but it was originally written in Greek and Hebrew so it's all been translated from the Greek and Hebrew of multiple copies that all correlate accurately to, to match and give a lawful record of their accuracy throughout history from the original dates that they were written and then they were translated by um, lawful groups of people who would uh, measure it, correct it, and test it, and anything that was un that didn't line up was rejected. But, but things that were consistently true remained in the book. So there's always been a great opposition to that in our country. That book because it preserves our right and our law. And Christ simply taught to believe. Uh, the commandment Christ gave the church was to believe in Him. And if you believe and receive, you'll know and you'll have a personal relationship with God and Jesus Christ. You won't need any anything else in your life. And that will empower you, that will deliver you, and God will deliver you from all evil. He's promised and he's faithful, and I can testify for that. But if you remain in your sin, you will remain being persecuted, and you remain trusting in, in some other thing to, to give the remedy. Now, if Jesus is the truth and you don't believe him, and Jesus is the truth, uh, he is the same today, yesterday and forever. Uh, let me read the scripture quickly. Hebrews 13, chapter 8, uh, verse 8, I believe. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. Jesus is eternal, he's God and holy and faithful. And you may know him and receive him and, and know for yourself. And I'm going to leave there. And any, any targeted individual, uh, brother and sister, I'd like to just uh, extend my, my you know, uh, blessing and my concern and my prayers. And um, I'm going to close with a prayer. 
and wish you Marana, a goodbye Maranatha. Gracious Father, I thank you for this opportunity to give testimony of um, the persecutions and the powers of Satan and the, the hope and the joy and light in your, your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, the resurrection, the way, the truth and the life, the, that thou sent to glorify thy name and draw all men unto yourself and salvation in him, Father, in, in thee. I pray that uh, you'll be with every, every brother and sister, Father, deliver them from any affliction, any any pain, any torment, any persecution. You will comfort them and lead them forward in their lives and that they may abound. I pray for the lost world, Father, and any person being persecuted, that they will seek you, seek your face, seek your truth, and your spirit will touch their lives and draw them unto your, your free gift of salvation and eternal life. And I pray for their families. I pray for the knowledge, I pray for light and truth, I pray for uh, clarity in their minds, clarity in their hearts to reason, to not be led into uh, pitfalls, Father, to not be led up the garden path, but to reason things through soberly and truly and research and find a and uh, be drawn unto yourself by the truth, by good people, by right, right motives. I pray you'll guide people in, in, in error away from error and in, in, into truth and light, Father, and I pray and ask you these things in the name of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.